Both of these images show protests in Athens over planned pension reforms. Spot the difference. The faces and banners, of course, but there's more. This photo was from April 2015, when pension reform was a major obstacle to unlocking the final slice of Greece's second bailout. And this one was taken a year later, in April 2016, and we're now talking about unlocking part of the third bailout. Pensions have been cut back very, very severely already through uh, the whole of the bailout period. And you've also got, of course, huge unemployment uh, in Greece at present. And it, the two have combined in such a way to make it very, very difficult to pass this particular law. Greece's creditors want assurances Greece can meet its budget targets before they will release more bailout money. And Greece has billions of dollars in existing loans coming due this summer. Sound familiar? Just like last year, the IMF still wants one extra element to any deal. There has to be sustainability of the debt. Significant reform, debt relief. Some say what happens next hinges on the ruling party Syriza's waning popularity. This was last September's election result. And this, a recent poll. Syriza no longer politically dominates Greece. A year ago, Syriza literally had the command of the entire population. Right now, looking at the polls, Syriza comes with a substantial difference behind New Democracy. Greece may, though, have a stronger hand in Europe. The EU's management of its migrant crisis depends on the stability of Greece. And, of course, Grexit is no longer the biggest fear. The last thing the Europeans want is to have Britain exiting and also Greece leaving as well, because that would lead to a serious reconfiguration of what the EU is all about. One thing just as true last year as it is this year, the longer you're in a debt crisis, the harder it is to get out.